So in today's video, I thought I'd go ahead and share the process of how I start my traveler's notebook. I really enjoy working out of these 8 by 4.5 notebooks. Now you can either buy some online, I got these on Amazon, it came with the pack and with the actual cover itself, or you can even make your own traveler's notebook which I did with this one. I personally like to carry two inserts in my traveler's notebook. To quickly show you, these are all the traveler's notebooks that I've worked out of, that I'm still working out of, that I've completed. So um, these two here I've made, and as you can see, these are actually a little bigger than the standard size, but I mean, it's still fine. I enjoyed working in these just as much. But these were my Traveler's Notebook junk journals. Um, I have already completed these. They were so much fun to work out of because, again, they're travel size. So I was able to bring it with me anywhere I went. And um, since the pages aren't overwhelming and it's just basically this amount of space to work in, it was really fun to just kind of be creative and let my imagination go wild. With that being said, these are the other ones and these were the ones that are basic that started off like this and I went ahead and decorated the cover. So I have one here for my Bible notes. So that's where I take all my notes. And then I have this one for Kainalu. Um, I have here his height and weight um, for each month. And then just, you know, notes here and there writing about him. So I'll be utilizing this more for note taking and basically using this as a diary. And then I also have this one as my daily devotion. For my daily devotions, I like to use the... Bible app and then I'll use my Google Docs on my phone to write down any notes and then I'll just go ahead and print it on my computer. I'll just stick it in here. That way there's a space for all my daily devotions to live in. This is super old but this was when I first started doing my Bible note taking and everything. So back to this. So I have here my work traveler's notebook. For this one, I decided to already pre-make all the monthly spreads because I know that everything's there. I don't have to go in and put in the months. It's all just printed out. So the way I have this set up, I have fabric on the outside and then I have this cute little window frame here. And then this is from a children's book. And then I have two pockets, one pocket here, another pocket in the back to keep any documents, mementos, stuff like that. And then I have my goals here for the year, which I actually love looking at because I can check off any goals that I completed that month. I have here a looking back at 2019, any highs and lows, and um, looking forward for 2020. These are just good spreads to look at from time to time to keep help me keep on track. Each tab is for all 12 months. I started this in February, so we have February, March, April, May, and so on. The first page would be kind of like how you would see a regular planner overview of the month. I have down here my weekly slots where I can fill out anything for that day. And in between each page, let's say for April is an overview of the month, we have our weekly spread. And then um, I'll have one piece of paper in between for any 
um, note taking, any brain dump if I wanted to kind of scrapbook that week or anything. So I really like how this came out and I think moving forward once I'm done with this, this is how I want to set up um, business planner all the time. I also added a little bookmark. I love using this too and I love using the closure. So today we are going to make a new bullet journal travel size notebook. I've been working out of this since 2019. This was definitely my trial and error notebook. There are some pages that I used and some pages I didn't. For example, I made a lyric spread but I never really filled it out. And then same with this page quotes. I never really utilized this but one thing I really utilized from this were the weekly spreads. I love being able to just kind of create as I go to um, aside from this one where I want it in here and because I know I'm not going to have time to just be more creative with this. So why not be pre-creative if that's even a thing. Today's video, I decided these pages here were all blank but I think this time I want to go ahead and try using this one with the grid just to see how I like it. So we're going to kind of format it and make it how I made this one here. I already pre-cut some fabric and this has this pretty bumblebee pattern that I picked up at Walmart. Super inexpensive. And then I pre-cut my lace for um, the front and the back, the closure, and for my bookmark. So, go ahead and grab yourself a cup of tea or put on a face mask and enjoy my video. So this completes the first part of my TN Bujo series. 
I hope you all enjoy this process and stay tuned for part 2 where I go over how I set up my pages. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to. See ya!